All right. I was just wrestling this two inch line, trying to get stretched out. Didn't really, didn't really go very willingly. Hoping the sun comes out and helps it lay flat. Might be all stretched out a little better. Yeah, this is the, the well casing for our, for not casing. <clears throat> this is the line for our irrigation pump. All that line, 200 feet, has to go down that well casing <clears throat> somehow or another. It's not going to be fun. The pump will go on this end. And then we got to get a couple guys to help drop it down. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so I'm going to put the well motor and pump together this is the motor three horsepower three phase and this is the pump this end comes off here bolts on to these four splines going here and then you'll have a complete motor pump uh, this guy here goes on the inside of the well casing. So you got to drill a hole in your casing. This is your casing. Drill a hole right here. And then it goes through. And this lock nut fastens it all. It's got some rubber bushings here to seal it. And then this piece which i put on the other end of the pipe already oh i didn't put it on yet but it's out there it slides in there so this stays in the well casing and then you would lower your line once your line's all in that slides into those grooves and it it's supported by this piece this piece here um, and then your final, then your connections for your line come in here. So yeah, it's quite a project. Two inch and yeah, a lot of weight. I need a couple guys to do it. So yeah, I'm going to put this pump together for now. All right, so here we are. Put our pitless adapter in just now. So we had to drill a hole three feet down. The line in the pump will go down the tube and hang on the hole in the back. All right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we connect two inch well casing to a two inch barb fitting on your pump, your well pump. This is going to be our setup for our irrigation pump. I know my head's kind of cut off, but yeah. So I'm going to heat this up pretty good with a torch. Enough. 
I'm gonna finish tightening these up. And then I got my wire here. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do there. Put my wires together. I'm gonna crimp them and then use a little bit of gravity solder on them. gonna wire the sewer sewer <laughs> we're gonna wire the swell pump Placing these wires together with clutch connectors and crank crack. The wires don't get wet and oil. And then I'm going to put this.
expand you can expand them it's basically to take the shocks off of the wire keeps the wires from, keeps the wires from robbing the, the well All these for a shopping spree. So we're tape, taping the wire to the well line every five feet. Family occasion to drop in the pump. It's a big occasion here at the farm. It's like the main thing we need water. <laughs> okay, dropping a $5,000, $6,000 piece of equipment right now. Just a little nervous. We're in the rock now, so it makes it a little bit tougher to put it down in. There we go. We kind of have to try different angles to, if we hit something we can't get past, we gotta try different angles to get it to keep moving down the pipe here. There we go. All right, we're at the tail end here.